Because you're not alone, you are fearless. You are fearless. I can hear you like, I don't know who you're talking to, but you're not talking to me. I'm a single parent. Now, I'm scared of everything. I'm scared of my car breaking down. I'm scared of my paycheck not being big enough. I got tax season coming. I'm scared of that. I'm scared of this. I'm scared of custody. But I'm scared of this. I'm scared of relationship. Like, I'm scared. No, you are fearless. Listen, for many of my single parent friends, you have been through battles that many of my married friends can't even imagine. You have walked through grief and you have walked through abandonment. You have walked through struggles. You've walked through holding your tongue. You walked through making mistakes, being forgiven for them and, and getting back on track. You've walked through all of that. And look, you're still standing. You're still here. You're still chasing Jesus. You're still a parent to your kids. You're fearless. Look at what you have done. You are fearless. I think Paul can relate to you. He says in Philippians chapter 4, I know what it is to be in need. Man, can you relate to that? Like, I know what it is to make rent, <laughs> to hardly make rent. I know what it is when my kids come home and say, we're going on this field, field trip. And you're like, I can't afford for you to go on the field trip, but I can't make, not like, it's just like textbook fees, all this going on. I know what it is to be in need, he says. He says, I know what it is to have plenty. And I've learned the secret to being content in any and every situation, whether I'm well-fed or hungry, whether I live in plenty or want. Here's the secret, he says. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. I can do all things through him. Because all things, we get overwhelmed with all things, don't we? Right? It's easy to get overwhelmed. It's easy to say, I can't do this. And somebody would say, well, we'll do what? You're just, you're just raising kids. <laughs> and you would say, well, let me, let me tell you, here's what my life is like. I get the kids up, and then I got to yell at them to get them dressed, and then I got to feed them, and then I go to school. And then it's sports, then it's homework, then it's school activities, then it's teacher meetings, and they gotta figure out how to pay the bills. And then I gotta get them to clean their rooms, and then I gotta feed them, and then I gotta answer a thousand questions, and then I have to feed them, and then I have to get them to clean up, and then I have to break up fights, then I have to feed them, then I have to get them to clean up again, and then break up fights again, and then this all starts over the next day. That's all things that you say, like, that's all things. Come and check out my all things. And so you would think, like, here's what I need to do I need to get up in the morning and look at myself in the mirror and say, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I'm just here to tell you, you can't do this. And that's not what Paul says. Paul doesn't say, give yourself a little rah-rah and say, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. What does he say? He says, I can do all things through him. Through him. Through him, right? And you're like, well... I hope Jesus helps me when I got Cheerios all over the, all over the place and I can't do anything. It, it, everything's going nuts. What do I do all things? I mean, that means as you're running from one place to another, you're just praying, Jesus, Jesus, I can do all things, uh, all things through you. Like, like, that's what you say. And so through you, like I'm praying right now, Jesus, help me. Jesus, I need you to work in my life. Jesus, I need your presence to fix some stuff that's going on. You say that you give me strength. That's going to be one of my prayers. God, you say that you give me strength. And so I need that strength right now because I can't do it on my own, but I know I can do all things through you who give me strength. And after a while, what you end up realizing is that what is against me is smaller than the one who is in me. 